again, grappling fans. Once again, we have another black belt final to look forward to right here. And two new faces in the Pan Championships final. In the white gi, you have Rafaela Geddes of Atos Jiu Jitsu. In the blue pulling guard, first is Clear North of Tag Team BJJ, but immediately attacking to pass is Geddes. Oh, and rips the gi off her opponent. Rafaela is a master. Yeah, that's an girl. aggressive start. Super aggressive. Super aggressive. She Rafaela made... managed to fight her way into the absolute finals. Exactly. She's going to close out that division later with her teammate Luisa Montero. And you know what? She only got her black belt two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, crazy. Two weeks. Oh, I remember Verdun got his black belt on the week of Worlds, and he got Worlds. There are some guys that they just can pull it out. Yeah, yeah, they pull it out. It's crazy. On the attack now is Geddes. Penalized. What, what was that penalty for? Yeah, that's a great question. Could have been an illegal grip. Couldn't quite see it from here. Oh, I haven't seen it from here. Into the 50 50 guard here. Nine left left. Plenty of time left on this clock to work. If you want to come up here, let's make sure that we disengage the guard on our way up. We don't want to end up in 50 50. <laughs> Well, Professor Andre Galvon is going to be busy, right? He has a finals. lot of people in the finals today, right? I want to see where he's going to sit when um, Dumbbell and Braguinha show up. Probably somewhere up yeah. in the, uh, the top of the stadium, yeah. uh, far away, <laughs> where he can just watch. With his uh, headphones on. Yeah. I gotta say that uh, so far, Geddes has shown that uh, she likes to keep a high pace when yeah. she fights, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's uh, she's she's moving, she's trying, and she's putting all her strength into it. And I don't think she'll fade because uh, her fights on on this on this uh, weight category were were all like she was going at it like crazy. This, of course, is uh, Rafaela and Claire, their only match today. They both competed yesterday in their respective semi-finals. Claire North beat Brenda Pagliata on her side of the bracket, and Rafaela beat Vanessa Griffin on the other to fight their way into the final here. We start inside the close guard here. It is uh, one advantage and one penalty issued here. Just less than seven minutes on the clock. Plenty of time to work. Seen a lot more close guard in this tournament than we've seen for a while, Victor. Yep. Agree. We're, you were talking about um, uh, that golden print on the white gi of, I think, Lucas Valenci or yep. someone else. I think that this, this gray is way better than the gold because that gives you a reading. 
on the gold, I couldn't. I mean, unless it's on on black. I remember right. that Lucas, that Lucas Barbosa. I think that the guy that first launched the black with a gold print was Lucas Barbosa in Pan Ams. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, 2017, and it looked really sharp. Yeah. But hard to read on the white. Yeah. yeah Getty's um, settling down in a position, but. But Claire's not opening up to. She's not, no, no. And neither she's not attacking. Up right now. This is a little different to the match that we saw earlier with uh, yep. Gabby McComb and Tubby, where Tubby yep. was trying to posture up, was trying to get out of the guard, and McComb was constantly attacking with yep. something. Exactly. It's not happening right now. Originally hailing from Manaus, Fela Geddes moved to Sao Paulo to pursue her jiu-jitsu career. Trained for some time there before eventually finding her way, as many high-level black belts do, or many high-level grapplers do, I should say. They, uh, they end up moving to San Diego, which is one of the, the meccas of jiu-jitsu in not just the United States, but in the world. In the world. And uh, there joined the powerhouse team that is Atos Jiu-Jitsu, the HQ. And it's interesting to note, isn't it, that um, they've built a, an equally strong and fearsome women's team as they have with the men. And that's, you can't say the same for every team in Jiu-Jitsu. No, it's tough to focus on both. I can, I, I can say by, by, by own experience, what I'm seeing in fight sports right now happening because of uh, Maggie Grindati, which is uh, Cyborg's fiance, and uh, she is leading a team of girls, of very skilled girls that she's training relentless. That she's and, and she's a she's a, a trainer herself. She's a, a, a she's a, a, she has graduated physical education or something like that, and she trains the girls there. They're all getting fit. They're all getting strong, and they're all getting better at jujitsu as well. So uh, I think that the um, if if we try by ourselves, like like men that we are, um, try to bring uh, a team of girls to to uh, build the team of girls, you need a girl leading the pack. And I think know? that's what the Atos crew have, right? Because yeah, exactly. they have, of course, Andre Galvao is the is known as one of the co-founders of the Atos team. But consider Angelica Galvao with uh, that incredible women's team who uh, she's done amazing work in building that squad, leading from the front, as all good leaders do, exactly. but out there showing what can be done, a world champion, and um, you know, now focusing on growing the team, and wow, she has such an amazing squad of competitors. Incredible, incredible. Like, uh, 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 Professor Angelica Galvão does a great job with these girls. She plays the, a key role in what you just said, uh, a great team that Atos is assembling team of uh, very skilled girls, great fighters. Even uh, Andre is actually in the corner here, yeah. coaching Rafaela, but over on the other side of the barrier, not far away, you got Angelica as well, along with all the, uh, the Atos teammates closely watching this match. Two and a half minutes remaining, still 0-0. Zero, zero. One advantage, one penalty. Yeah, I uh, I would say that uh, it's uh, about time that Claire gets another penalty, honestly. Claire, I would look to set your grips and get All right, now she opened it two minutes ago. That's what I'm saying. She had eight minutes oh, to figure it out. Oh, look at this. There you go. And if that's what happens when you open your guard, well, you have to think, let's exactly. open it and get let's busy. Let's do it early. Yeah. Let's do it early in the match. North has been on bottom exclusively in this match. Haven't seen uh, Geddes play guard yet in this one. Well, since, were, uh, since we're talking about uh, girls' performance here, um, a girl that's been very notorious in the, uh, I would say, last uh, six months 
is uh, Liz Clay. How did she oh, do? Oh, absolutely. Uh, she didn't compete this weekend, unfortunately. Oh, she didn't? Yeah, she, you probably She's saw her walking her. around, but unfortunately, yeah, she was only to, uh, to coach her teammates. Yeah, we'll have All to right. wait a little while before we see her back in action. But okay. Oh, look at this now. See, this is exactly what North needs to do. She can, if she can get her feet on the hips, then she would probably have more success in sweeping Geddes than playing this close guard where she's not really doing anything. Anything, yeah. She needs to make uh, half foul expose herself by defending herself not to get swept. And she needs to open that guard right away. Or even force Rafaela to be penalized, you know? Now Rafael is about to get a penalty. Let's open it up. She Two opened up and Rafael stayed yes. still. She's not moving forward. Yeah, she's yeah. not moving at all. Yes, Claire, this is good. 45 seconds. Ankle. Ankle, Claire. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a pass Got from pass. Geddes. Looks like she's going to get the top position she here. Get the top position. Not North the best North manages though. to go belly down, denies the pass points, but that's an advantage for Rafaela Geddes and allows North to recover guard, but now comfortably two advantages to zero. Back to this close guard. Well, I would say it's too little too late for mm. Claire North. She really needed to open up earlier. Yeah. And Rafaela too strong in her defense now. So it's going to be a gold medal for the Atos black belt. Rafaela Geddes in her first major tournament as a black belt. Um, I feel that Claire is going to regret her performance later on tonight. Um, not that she wasn't a warrior, she was, but I think that her strategy was was flawed. She should, she had it. Like if she didn't have it, but she had it. We saw when she decided to open up the amount of the amount of a, a danger that she brought to Rafaela, and she should have tried that in the sixth, fifth minute, not in the last minute. 